कारवा मिनी दूरेण ही अवरम कर्मा बुद्धि योगा धनंजय बुद्ध शरण अन्वेच्छ कृपण फल हेतव ओ धनंजय रिड योर सेल्फ ऑफ ऑल फ्रूटिव एक्टिविटीज बाय डिवोशनल सर्विस एंड सरेंडर फुली टू दैट कॉन्शियसनेस दोज हु वॉन्ट टू एंजॉय द फ्रूट्स ऑफ देअर वर्क आर माइजर्स so krishna is telling avaram avaram means abominable karma so this fruitive activity doing any activity so that you can enjoy the result it is avaram god is telling it is abominable because it is stealing it is just like a worker creating any product in the factory so that he can use it for his own self that is stealing that is abominable that is criminal mentality so god has given everything everything should be offered simply to god god is a person this is the revelation of bhagavad gita that is why god is called bhagwan a person and why this person is so demanding give it to me give it to me no actually he is not demanding this demand is not of an autocratic ruler this demand is that of a of an eternal lover a lover expects please do it for me give something to me to eat that gives pleasure in the relationship thus we will find further in bhagavad gita krishna is telling patram pushpam phalam toyam yome bhaktaya prayachhati if you are an ordinary person you are not very rich person uh, at least you can grow a plant in your house that everybody can do and offer the leaf of that plant from to me is it very difficult task you cannot even do that at least you have water in your house toyam please offer that water to me but bhaktiya please do it with love why krishna is telling this because krishna knows unless we engage ourselves in this loving relationship with god we will never be satisfied and anyway we are doing this activity nobody works in this work world very hard so that he can enjoy all the money and prosperity that he has he uses those things for others he uses them for the people for his family members but unless one uses it in the service of god there is no satisfaction of the heart a person works very hard for the family the family is never satisfied they ask what you have done for us and the person poor fellow entire life has worked only for the family for his bed up uh, uh, till his best capacity but they complain what you have done so neither the object of service is satisfied neither the person who is rendering service is satisfied so when the family is not there especially in the western countries people have dogs pets and they want to engage their money in their service sometimes they give all the property to dogs because a person wants love loving reciprocation in the life so krishna knows we living entities can never be satisfied unless we revive our loving relationship with god so krishna is not in need of anything he has everything so when we offer the result of our activity to god then what happens this loving relationship is established and then that satisfies us so much we do not have any material desires and when we do not have material desires the nature is designed only to fulfill our desires then we will not have material body and if we do not have material body we have a spiritual body and we go to the place where the personality of god is living that place is called vaikuntha padam gachanti anamayam that krishna will explain here